Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make string bikini bottoms. So something like these with this um, nice side tie. So I have a previous video that I did where I show you how to turn a regular bikini bottoms pattern into a string bikini bottoms pattern. So I will link that somewhere up there for you so you can check that out first and make your pattern and then come back to the actual making of the swimsuit bottoms. But that is up to you. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to actually sew up bottoms like this. So let's get started. All right, so I have here the front and the back of my string bikini bottoms pattern. And this is the fabric I'm going to be using as my outer fabric. And I'm going to be using this as my lining. And this method is reversible. So instead of using a traditional lining, you could just use another slim fabric if you plan on wearing them both ways. I do not plan on wearing them both ways. So I'm just going to be using a regular lining but the method is reversible, so keep that in mind. So I'm just going to be cutting out one of the front and one of the back on the fold um, of both my main fabric and my lining. Next, I'm going to be cutting four strips from my main fabric that are 15 inches long by one and a quarter inches wide. So these are going to be our ties. All right, so first I'm going to prep my straps. So what I'm going to do is fold the straps in half lengthwise with right sides together. And I'm just going to sew all the way along this long, all the way along this long edge of my strap. So it's going to be folded up like this. And then, like I said, I'm going to sew with my serger along the raw edges to form a tube. And I'm not going to be pinning the straps. I'm just going to feed them through the serger, folding them as I go along. Next, I'm going to go back over my serging. So just straight back over my same exact serging here. Only I'm going to be sewing some rubber swim elastic into the straps. So I'm going to start the elastic about a half inch below the end of the strap. And then I'm just going to sew right over the elastic, sewing it right into that same seam allowance that I just sewed with my serger. So I'm going to do that with all of my straps, making sure to start and end the elastic about a half inch from the edge of the strap, because you don't want any bulkiness right at the end of your strap.
Alrighty, so I have my elastic sewn into all four straps. So now I'm just going to turn these straps right sides out with my loop turner. So I have all my straps turned right sides out, so now I'm going to use a pin to push the raw edges towards the inside on one end of each of the straps. So the other end is going to be left raw because the other end is going to be sewn into the actual bikini bottoms, but we want to finish one end of each strap so that the end of the tie that's hanging loose outside of the bikini is actually finished. So I'm going to go ahead and push in the raw edges on one end of each of these straps and then I'm going to hand sew the openings closed. I have this end of each of the strings finished, so now I'm just going to tie a knot in the end of each of these because I just think it looks cute. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot. All right, so now let's put the strings aside for a second and start putting together the actual swimsuits. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the front and the back of the main fabric together with the right sides together at the crotch seam. I'm going to pin the crotch seam. Then I'm going to do the same with the lining. All right, so now I'm going to sew the crotch seam of the outer fabric bikini bottoms and the lining fabric but I'm going to be leaving um, about a one inch opening in the crotch seam of the lining so that later on we can turn the swimsuit right sides up. Okay so I have the crotch seam sewn with the outer fabric as well as the lining. I left an opening in the lining seam so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the lining out with the front on one side and the back on the other with the right side facing up. And then I'm going to lay the outer fabric right on top of it with the right side facing down. So they're right sides together. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin all along this leg seam on both sides and I'm also going to be pinning the waist seam on the fronts and the backs and I'm going to be pinning the straps with the unfinished end facing towards the corner so I'm going to line up the strap in the center of the opening here and then I'm going to sandwich it between the lining and the outer fabric like that. 
And so I'm just going to be pinning basically all around the entire bikini bottom, pinning one strap into each of these little small square edges at the sides here. So here, 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 and here, sandwiching the straps in between the two layers. Okay, so I have it pinned all the way around and I have my straps sandwiched into each of these little square pieces on the sides. So now I'm going to take this to my serger and I'm basically just going to serge the entire thing. So I'm going to serge the waistline down these little square bits to secure the straps, down all of the leg opening up the other square bit here, across the waistline of the back, down the strap opening here, and then all the way down this leg opening, and then finally finish off with this other strap opening here. So it's just going to sandwich everything inside, right sides together. So I'm going to take that to my serger and go ahead and do that. And just make sure when you're surging that you don't catch your straps anywhere except at the corners here. You want to make sure they don't get caught in your stitching anywhere else. All right, so I have the whole thing sewn. So it's basically completely enclosed except for this opening in the crotch of the lining. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over my stitching just on the leg openings and the waistlines with my elastic. So this is one quarter inch cotton swim elastic. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to start the elastic about a half inch below the edge of the fabric. And then I'm going to apply it all the way down the leg opening and stop about a half inch from this other edge. And then I'm going to do the same thing to apply a strip of elastic on the back waistline, the other leg hole, as well as the front waistline, making sure I'm staying a half inch away from the corner edges. And that's just to reduce bulkiness when we turn the thing right sides out. So I'm going to make sure that I apply my elastic always on the same side. So I like to apply it to the side that I prefer to wear on the outside. So that's going to be, of course, this brown fabric. So I'm going to apply it on this side, not on this side, because I want the lining to naturally face more to the inside and the elastic will pull the main fabric more towards the outside. So if you're doing a reversible swimsuit using two different swim fabrics, then just put the elastic on the side that you plan to wear facing out more often. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my elastic. All right, so I have my elastic sewn in. So you can see it here. And I did stretch the elastic slightly as I sewed, especially on the bum opening um, because I just like a really tight fit on the elastic. I want to make sure everything is secure. So here's what it looks like. And now we're just going to turn it right sides out through the opening in the crotch of the lining. All right, so here's what we've got now. So we are pretty much done. So the last thing that you'd wanna do is just 
so the crotch opening and the lining closed with a hand sewing needle but other than that you're completely done and this waviness is just because like I said I stretched the elastic because I like a really secure fit but you don't have to stretch the elastic if you don't want to it's really up to you but it looks totally fine when it's on because it'll be stretched around your body so it's just looking wavy just when it's not on because of the elastic but if you don't want to stretch the elastic then it'll lay a lot flatter just on the table but you also won't have quite as tight of a fit around the legs so i hope you enjoyed the video and give this a try and i will see you in the next video